In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer crypto assets to and from Pinex from another exchange. This video is not financial advice and is for educational purposes only. Don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Let's get into the video. To deposit some crypto assets onto Pinex, come right up here where it says wallet. And from this drop down menu, click here on deposit. And this will bring you over to the deposit form. The first thing we need to do is choose the coin that we wish to deposit onto the platform by clicking right here. Then select it from this drop down menu. Alternatively, you can search for it in the search bar. I'll go ahead and just demonstrate by using Tether. Next, we'll need to click on the network that we wish to use to make this deposit. And I'll go ahead and use the BNB Smart Chain, so I'm going to give that a click. Then over here on the right hand side, Pinex will generate your deposit address for that network. So in my case here, this is going to be my USDT deposit address using the BNB Smart Chain. Now some of these networks will be less in fees than others, but the big thing is make sure that the network matches on both sides of this. You don't want to send from one network into another network or you run the risk of losing your coins forever. So just make sure wherever you're depositing these assets from supports the network that you wish to use. And for this demonstration, I'll send some Tether from Binance and into Pinex. So I'm going to come over here and copy my deposit address by clicking on copy. And now bring Binance into frame. Now from here, I'm looking for the crypto withdraw option. And on most exchanges, you'll find it by coming right up here to your profile icon and click on your dashboard. In most cases, when it comes to exchanges, you'll find a withdraw button here on your dashboard. And I can see mine right next to the deposit button. So I'm going to give that a click. And now I need to select the coin that I wish to withdraw from Binance and deposit onto Pinex. So I'm going to click right here. And of course, I'll be selecting Tether right here up at the top. Now that I've selected Tether, I need to paste my Pinex deposit address into this box right here. Now I need to choose the correct network by clicking right here. And I can see the BNB Smart Chain right here. So I'm going to give that a click. And I'm going to confirm by clicking on Yes, I'm sure. So now I've selected the correct coin as well as the correct network. I'm ready to withdraw some Tether from Binance and send it over to Pinex. And for this demonstration, I'll just withdraw everything. And then I'm going to click on Withdraw and Confirm. And now my withdraw request from Binance has been submitted and soon the Tether will be on its way from Binance and over to Pinex. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Completed. And I'll bring Pinex back into frame. And here's a quick tip with this. If it's your first time sending crypto onto Pinex from another exchange or wallet address, just send a small amount first. Once the smaller amount arrives on the platform, you can have the confidence that you have everything set up correctly, and then you can proceed to deposit a larger amount. And as you can see, the Tether has already arrived into my Pinex account. You can see the status right here is completed. Once your crypto arrives on the platform, you can find it by just coming right up here where it says wallet. And from this drop down menu, click right here on overview. Then come over here on the left hand side and click on primary account. And as you can see, here's the tether right here that I just sent in from Binance. To withdraw your crypto assets and transfer them to another exchange or wallet address, just simply come right up here to your wallet. And from this drop down menu, click here on withdraw. And this will bring you over to the crypto withdraw form. Select the coin you wish to withdraw by clicking right here and then choose it from this drop down menu. For this demonstration, I'll go ahead and just leave this on Tether. Then down below, you'll need to select the network that you wish to use to make this withdraw. And for this demonstration, I'll go ahead and use the BNB Smart Chain. Once again, just make sure that the network matches on both sides. So wherever you're sending these coins to, make sure that destination supports the network and that you select it. Remember, you don't want to send from one network into another network or you run the risk of losing your coins forever. Next, I'll need to enter the address right here. So this is going to be the deposit address of the destination that I'm sending my coins to. And for this demonstration, I'll just go ahead and use Binance. So I'll bring that into frame like so. Now I need to retrieve my Binance Tether deposit address. Now, most exchanges, you'll find the deposit button up here, top right hand side. And if not, you'll find the deposit button on your dashboard. So what I'm going to do here is click on my profile icon and then click on dashboard. And in most cases on exchanges, you'll find a deposit button on your dashboard. So I'm just going to go ahead and give that a click. Now I need to choose the coin that I wish to deposit and I can see tether right here. So I'm going to give that a click. And now I need to choose the correct network by clicking right here 
and I can see the BNB smart chain right here. So I'm going to give that a click. Now the network matches on both sides of this. And I can see my tether deposit address in this box right here using the BNB smart chain. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this address and we'll bring Pinex back into frame. And I'm going to paste that address into the address box right here. Next, choose the amount of the coins that you wish to withdraw from Pinex. You'll be able to see your available balance right over here. So you can type in a custom amount into this box right here, or you can click on all if you wish to withdraw everything. Once you have this set up the way that you want it, you'd come over here and you'd click on submit. Then you'll get a pop-up window asking if you're sure you wish to withdraw your coins. So in this case here, I'm going to click on continue. And then you'll need to verify your identity. So you'll need to request an email verification code in this box right here. And to do that, just click on send. And then you'll need to input your Google Authenticator code into this box right here. Once that's done, you just simply click on confirm. And then your withdrawal request will be successful. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on OK. And we can see right down here under withdrawal history that my withdrawal is processing. And soon the tether will be on its way from Pinex and into my Binance account. And when I bring Binance back into frame, you can see that this is completed and my tether has now arrived on the Binance platform from Pinex. If I come up to wallets, click on Fiat and Spot, you can see the tether right here up at the top, as easy as that. And there you have it. That's how you can transfer assets to and from Pinex. Don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also feel free to check out my other Pinex tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.